Welcome to this NCFE video focusing on embedding core skills into practice and linking these skills to the ESB types of assessments. Some of the types of assessments mentioned in this video may change for future employer set projects, but the core skills covered will remain the same. The employer set project requires that students apply and contextualise core knowledge through the demonstration of the following core skills. Person-centred care, communication, team working, reflective evaluation, researching, presenting. These are demonstrated through the completion of a number of tasks including a report, role play, healthcare plan, presentation and reflective account. Within this video we will look at each of these core skills, examples of the tasks where each of the core skills are assessed within the employer set project, as well as suggested teaching activities where each of the core skills could be demonstrated to support students in preparing for the employer set project. Core skill 1, person centred care. For this core skill students must be able to plan and develop person centred care, provide person centred care, more detailed information can be found within the core skill section of the health qualification specification. Examples of employer set project tasks where this core skill is assessed are Report in which students are required to synthesise research to describe how to best support an individual from a provided case study. Role play in which students are required to undertake a discussion with the individual from a case study to inform next steps for their care. Healthcare plan in which students are required to contribute to a healthcare plan for the individual. To embed this core skills into teaching practice, the following types of activities are suggested to prepare students for the employer set project. Written activity based on either a case study or a completed healthcare plan of an individual with support needs. Students could write a summary about how they would demonstrate person-centred care skills in order to effectively support the individual within the case study or from the information provided on the healthcare plan. Peer role play activity. For this suggested activity, students could be provided with a case study of an individual with support needs. One of the students to act as the individual and the other student to take on the role of health professional. Students would then undertake a discussion with the individual to gather information to inform the individual's care plan, demonstrating person-centred care skills. Healthcare plan activities. One example of the healthcare plan activity is where students are provided with examples of different types of healthcare plans that are completed. Students are then asked to highlight key parts of the healthcare plan that demonstrate person-centred skills. Another suggested healthcare plan activity related to this is where students complete blank templates of different types of healthcare plans used in the health sector based on case study information provided to them about an individual. Students could then peer review each other's healthcare plan and provide feedback in relation to how they've demonstrated person-centred care skills. The tutor should also provide additional feedback. These activities could be undertaken as a mini employer set project based on the core skill of person-centred care, where all the activities follow on from each other. For example, the students could be provided with a case study of an individual with support needs to write a summary of how they would demonstrate person-centred care skills to effectively support them. Then, following from this, they would undertake a role play activity in which they are asked to gather more information from the individual and finally they would complete a healthcare plan based on the information they've gained from the case study, written summary and role play. Core skill two, Communication. For this core skill, students must be able to communicate clearly and effectively with a variety of stakeholders within the health setting, use a range of techniques to overcome communication barriers. More detailed information can be found within the core skills section of the health qualification specification. Examples of employer set project tasks where this core skill is assessed are role play, Healthcare plan, presentation in which students are required to conduct a presentation to a senior colleague in the healthcare team. 
To embed this core skills into teaching practice, the following types of activities are suggested to prepare students for the employer set project. Written report. Students could write a report about how they would communicate clearly and effectively with different stakeholders, including patients, service users, customers, carers, and other healthcare professionals. They could use examples from their placements to discuss how they've communicated with different stakeholders effectively. Students should consider the following within their report. Tailoring language and technical information to the audience. Tone and register used to reflect the audience. Appropriate body language. How to show that they are actively and critically listening to the different stakeholders. How to ensure they speak clearly and confidently when communicating with different stakeholders. Case study activity. For this suggested activity, students could be provided with case studies of individuals with various communication barriers. For each case study, students describe the techniques they could use to overcome the communication barriers. Presentation. Students could create and undertake a presentation to their tutor, who takes on the role of another health professional. The presentation could be following on from the case studies activity in which they present to the health professional techniques they would use to overcome each of the communication barriers. Core skill three, team working. For this core skill, students must be able to identify the functions of different team or team members, as well as their own role within the wider team, undertake collaborative work. More detailed information can be found within the core skills section of the health qualifications specification. An example of an employer set project task where this core skill can be assessed is healthcare plan. To embed this core skills into teaching practice, the following types of activities are suggested to prepare students for the employer set project. Group discussion and healthcare plan activity. For these suggested activities, students could be given a case study, which could be from past paper briefs. The tutor should place students into groups and allocate each of the students within the group, a professional role based on who may need to be involved in the individual support from the case study. Students then undertake a group discussion on how best to support an individual in the case study and what each of the professional's roles would be in their support. From the information provided in the case study and the discussion, students could either individually or as a group complete a healthcare plan template including information on the roles of each of the professionals in the individual's support. Core Skill 4 – Reflective Evaluation For this core skill, students must be able to undertake reflective practice and record reflections and experiences, make improvements to own practice, more detailed information can be found within the Core Skills section of the Health Qualification Specification. An example of an employer set project task where this Core Skill is assessed is Reflective Account. Students are required to complete a reflective account of their performance in the employer set project. To embed this Core Skills into teaching practice, the following types of activities are suggested to prepare students for the employer set project. Reflective accounts. Students should regularly complete reflective accounts in which they record reflections and experiences. This could be in relation to a placement performance or performance in practical sessions. Reflection could be in the form of reflective blogs written within placement booklets or short written reflections when feedback is given. Students should include details within their reflective accounts of what they have done to improve based on their own self-evaluation and feedback from others. Reflective Practice Report Students could write a reflective practice report in which they are given a topic to reflect on their performance. This could be related to a task completed within their placement, practical activities, completed within a simulated environment, or a task completed within a class. Students to research and use a model of reflection such as Kolb's Experiential Learning Cycle 1984 or Gibbs Reflective Cycle 1988 to follow the steps to reflect on their performance. Professional discussions. Students to undertake regular professional discussions where their tutor based on tasks they have completed. Students should be asked to discuss what happened, the approach that was taken and why that approach was taken. They should discuss what went well, 
what didn't go well and what could have been done better and how things could be done differently in future to make improvements. Core Skill 5 Researching Students must be able to apply research skills, apply principles for evidence-based practice to contribute to research and innovation within a specific area. An example of an employer set project task where this core skill is assessed is Report To embed this core skills into teaching practice, the following types of activities are suggested to prepare students for the employer set project. Research activity and report For these suggested activities, students could be given health issues or problems to research. For example, recruitment issues in NHS hospitals. Students to then carry out investigations into the specific issues and problems and gather information from different sources. Students then to analyse and evaluate the information gained to justify a conclusion related to the issue or problem based on their research and their own expertise and judgments. The research could then be used to write a report on the health issue or problem. Core Skill 6 Presenting Students must be able to present their project findings in a range of formats, present outcomes to a range of different stakeholders, apply considerations for adapting presentation style when presenting to a range of stakeholders. An example of an employer set project task where this core skill is assessed is presentation. To embed this core skills into teaching practice, the following types of activities are suggested to prepare students for the employer set project. Written activity based on case studies of different stakeholders. Students could be given four different case studies with details about the following stakeholders. Patients or service users, customers, carers, healthcare professional. The following details should be included in the case studies about the stakeholder. Their age, their gender, their cultural differences, their educational background. Students could write a summary for each case study on how they may need to adapt their presentation style when presenting to that stakeholder, based on the information provided in the case study. Presentations. Students could undertake mini employer set project tasks and present their project finding using digital and non-digital formats. Students to practice undertaking presentations to the tutor who takes on different roles depending on the project, including a patient and other health professional. At the end of the presentation, the tutor should ask questions about the project based on information provided in the presentation. Summary. The information which has been provided in the video is to give you some suggestions for specific activities that could be undertaken to embed the core skills assessed in the employer set project in the teaching practice. These activities of the course can be adapted to meet you and your learners needs and requirements. The activities suggested are to support students in preparing the employer set project but in addition can be used to embed the core skills into everyday teaching by continuously planning activities where students have to demonstrate the core skills.